Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in this video, we are going to go over how to make positions for your rig. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our selection. So, we'll just do the uh, mid stage for now. And then um, we will, uh, we can either highlight them or put them at full. It doesn't really matter in this step of the process because when we are recording into our position pool, it can only take in position information, meaning it will not store uh, dimmer values or color values and whatnot inside of these pools. Uh, that's why uh, you have these and they are incredibly useful. Uh, so what we'll do is we have our selection here. We'll just hit highlight. Now you can see down here, I have a MA3D window open. Uh, I will link a tutorial down below on how to connect uh, the MA software to the MA3D software. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's not that complicated and it's pretty easy to use. Uh, so from here, what we can do is we can go to our position presets here. And right here, you see we have a pan and tilt value. So what we can do is uh, we can take this and we can type in uh, oh, negative 40. Whoops. It's going to tilt for us forward. And then we can do, I don't know, negative 60. Just find like a, a, you know, whatever you like there. And then for pan, uh, let's say we want it to go a little one direction. Okay. Yeah. So we went to the right. And what we'll do is we'll just go to our command overlay here. We'll hit store and then in a pool. And then we can say like this is up right or maybe um, audience right. Okay. We can clear out of that, triple clearing. And then maybe we uh, select our group again and then we say, hey, go negative 60 again. Uh, oh, I selected all my lights. Uh, so what am I doing here? <laughs> select our group that we want. I have highlight enabled, so it just automatically highlighted them. Uh, and then um, go here, negative 60. And why well, I did 50 last time, so I'll do negative 50. Yeah. Over here, store. Oh, God. Uh, left. Cool. So now you can see we can click between these two. And we have that. And you just do that for the groups that you want. Uh, but if we selected our all group when we did this, because this is a selective position effect, uh, or not effect, but a selective position, it's only going to affect these guys here. Uh, cool. uh, oh, yeah. If uh, I don't know if you saw there, this thing says edit. If you're ever on a console and it's flashing and you can't get it to turn off, just hit escape a few times and it goes away. Uh, so yeah, that's how you make basic positions. Uh, but how about like a position where you're like fanning out the lights? Well, let's take our uh, mid stage here and we will tilt it up a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to align and we're going to go align, align, align until you see this one the two like carrots pointing in at each other. All right. Now what we can do is if you have a coder wheel, you can um, scroll. Uh, but since I don't, I'm just going to say uh, uh, we'll do negative 50 through 50. And that would, you know, give you the pan or like the, the spread. Or you can invert that. So we did uh, negative 50 to 50. We can do 50 through negative 50, and it's going to go inwards. Ta-da! And, of course, we can record this as um, odd in, right? And you can do odd out. But this is where it gets a little weird, right? So remember how we made those symmetrical groups? So right now, if we take everything, we tilt it up a little. And then what if we did our, um, you know, our negative 50 through 50? Oh, well, that doesn't look right. How can we make this look good? Well, let's, um, let's center this. So we'll put the pan or actually, you know, let's, let's clear out. 
because we need to select our symmetrical group. Or again, it would be a selection kind of like this. All right. So we'll tilt out negative 60. And now if we do our negative 50 through 50, beautiful. All right. It's the power of making symmetrical selections. Makes it look all nice and pretty. All right. So now I can give you more of the uh, look that you're wanting. And you can see it didn't quite give me exactly what I'm looking for here. So you can also check this out. Uh, so let's clear this out. Let's select one of our groups here. Go negative 60. And then we'll do our uh, negative 50 through 50. Uh, actually, let's, let's go opposite of that. So 50 through negative 50. There we go. What we'll do is we will store this here, okay? And then what we are going to do is we're actually going to clear out. Then we're going to select our other group here. And we are going to do the same thing. So we're going to go negative 60. Then we're going to go 50 through negative 50, just like so. We're going to store that into the same pool, okay? And then we're going to hit merge, okay? So now what that's done is it's taken uh, all the lights associated just like that. And yeah, so it took those two positions that we made and merged it into one position Q. And then you can see we can change this one like this, this one like this. And then we get to that, that. Yeah, pretty cool. And then uh, just for the sake of the tutorial for the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll make our uh, we'll grab everything and we'll tilt it up negative 60 and uh, we will uh, store that into here and this is going to be called odd out and this is um, odd all in oh don't forget to back up your show file Always good habit to be in. And yeah, now we are all set up for our next tutorial video, which is going to be going over the movement effects. Uh, so yeah, look forward to seeing you in that one.